Hello, Mr. Taber. Uh, thank you very much for coming to this uh, interview with me to talk a little bit about college entrance exams in Turkey. Uh, once again, my name is Enis, and I am very happy that you are here and that I'm able to interview you today. Uh, with that being said, we can just dive right in if you would like. So uh, first of all, could you tell us just a tiny bit about yourself, who you are? Uh, you are currently in the United States. What year you mm -hmm. came uh, just a little bit about yourself to uh, set the intro, if that's all right. Uh, yeah, sure. So my name is Mustafa Tibur, and um, I have arrived to the United States about two years ago for um, college education. I have completed my uh, high school education and blow in Turkey, and um, I am studying computer science in Drexel University here in Philadelphia, and um, that's about it, yep. Thank you very much. Um, now, you prepared for, studied for, and took the college entrance exam in Turkey, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, could you, first of all, tell us a little bit about that exam, what it is, uh, what it's called, how okay. it works, and its importance in general? Uh, yes, yeah. so it's called higher education placement test and um unlike united states where your uh, admission to a university is based on many uh, criteria like your uh, extracurricular activities your high school gpa your sat scores uh it's based on many factors here in the united states but uh in turkey it's no way like that the university admission test like the the one i mentioned is the sole factor for uh university admissions the other factors they pose are they have little to no effect on your admission and most of the high school students in turkey spend uh, most of their high school uh years studying for that test because like I said, it is it is the only thing that can get them a seat at, at, at a good university. And most of them usually uh, don't participate in extracurriculars or any similar activities. And they usually have little to no social lives. They just spend most of their time preparing for the test if they want to go to a good university and in the end get a good job. Thank you. Uh, and a little bit more about yourself now. Did you also spend your high school years studying intensively for this test? And when you took the test, uh, if you wouldn't mind telling us uh, what colleges did you get into or how did you do in general? Uh, yeah, so like like many other students, I, I was no different. So I, I spent... Uh, most of my high school years, like ninth grade, tenth grade, eleven, my uh, freshman, sophomore, junior years, and especially senior year, I, I've been studying for the test in every single one of them, and um, most other students also do that because I wanted to get a, uh, I wanted to go to a good university, and in Turkey, going to a good university means a lot if you want to get a good job in the end and um i think if i remember my score was uh i think it was pretty good i was accepted into most of the top universities in turkey but uh in the end i chose to study abroad in united states um could you tell us a little bit about how the process to transfer from a university in Turkey to the United States happened? Because as you know, as you said yourself, in the United States, college entrances, they're based a lot on uh, factors other than tests. And you yourself focused so solely on this test. Could you tell us just how that transfer process worked a bit, if possible? Uh, yeah, sure. So... Uh, my score in the 
tests I took in Turkey didn't really uh, matter much for for my admission to the U.S. universities here. And because I mostly, uh, while I was studying for the test in Turkey, I also wanted to apply to universities here. So I also, uh, I studied for them simultaneously in my senior year. So while I was studying for the test in Turkey, I also took the SAT and uh, I also worked on writing my personal essay. And uh, at uh, in my senior year, I also applied to schools in here. So I think we can say that I had to prepare for both of them separately because, uh, but I, I think that the education I had in Turkey uh, prepared me well for the SAT test, at least some portions of it. But like I said, they were uh, two separate applications and I had to prepare for them both. So it was in your plan uh, the whole time, or at least for a amount of time in high school to study abroad in a university. Uh, yeah, sure. So I certainly hoped of uh, doing it one day. And in my senior year, I uh, started seriously thinking about at least uh, trying to do it, at least applying to some schools in the United States. So um, I started preparing for the required tests and uh, started the application process and things turned out well. So I'm here. Yeah. That's great. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about the uh, atmosphere in Turkey surrounding this test. So obviously, it's very important. Obviously, it builds your future, so to speak. Um, around at what age do you think do Turkish children really begin to understand the importance of this test? Or, you know, for yourself, when did you really start thinking, oh, no, I have to take this test, I should start studying for it? Uh, when did that happen? Uh, yeah. So they all, they usually start studying for the test, like in their freshman year in high school, but it takes some time until like their junior year or this for some senior year to uh, really get how important this test is for themselves and uh, starting, they start to really get anxious about it and uh, start taking it seriously and studying a lot more. But people usually uh, know about it at least for some time before uh, in at the end of middle school and during their freshman years. But like I said, it takes until their uh, junior or senior, senior year to when things really get serious. So do you think that uh, that is the ultimate secret to... Uh, I mean, getting a good score on this test at the amount of time that a student spends studying uh, or how early they start? Yeah, definitely. I, I, and I think that's true for uh, any other test you can think of anywhere in the world because uh, for this test in particular, you need to study a lot if you really want to get a good score. And I think the ones who start studying for it early, like maybe in their freshman year, are the ones who actually succeeded. Uh, if you if you don't take it seriously at the start, you're probably not going to get the uh, score you want and not going to go into the university you want. But, yeah. Great. And uh, now I want to uh, start asking, um, obviously, uh, is it a controversial system in Turkey, this uh, basically basing a student's entire future off of one test, as opposed to America, where a student can, you know, work long term to achieve a a, uh, a target college or a target school. Uh, is there any controversy or ill feeling in Turkey surrounding this? Yeah, definitely. But it's been around for some time, maybe I think more than 50 years. And high school students they never liked it obviously 
uh, but they know that they have to take it. And I don't think the system is going to change in the near future because um, they would need to make like big changes for, for that to happen. They need to change the entire system, the entire high school education. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it anytime soon with all the other problems Turkey has currently. And it certainly is controversial. No one, most people dislike it, obviously, but there's nothing they can do to change it. So you got to do what you got to do. I see. And um, uh, back to a little bit about the prep period. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of pressures do students face while studying for this test, whether it be from uh, family, friends, the area, what is, you know, the preparation life like for the test? Yeah, I think I would say the pressure is uh, intense because unlike the SAT, which you can take for uh, several times in a single year, this test, you can only take it once in a single year at the end of your senior year. And if you fail to get the score you want, you're going to have to spend an entire year studying for it again and it's uh it's not good it's a lot of stress and if if you fail the first time the second time it's a lot more stressful the pressure is uh from your parents the family friends the competition it's uh i would say that it's it can't be healthy at all for students because uh no matter what you do even if you study in advance for it if you even if you study regularly if you study a lot you're still gonna get uh it's just it's still gonna be uh you're still gonna be anxious about it the pressure is gonna be the stress it there uh it's not good at all for your health for your mental health and for your physical health as well and i think it has um negative effects on permanent negative effects on a student's health. You fail the test once, like I said, you it's the pressure is gonna be real high from your parents. They're gonna uh they're gonna pressure you, they're gonna ask you why what went wrong and you're gonna be stressed because you're gonna think, hey, if I don't if I don't succeed this time, I'm gonna have to study for one more year, one whole year and and if I fail again, I'm going to have to go to a school that I don't like and a school that's ultimately not going to mm, place me in a well-paying job, a job that is uh, a job that I don't like. So it's, uh, it kind of affects their entire future. And if you, if you fail it, it's going to... It's gonna do bad things to your mental health. It's it's stressful because uh you are worried about your future. You don't know if you are gonna be able to get a job after you graduate if if the school you went to is uh not one of the good schools, not one of even the top schools, if you don't go into the top universities in Turkey, you're still gonna be stressed because uh it's due to bad economy you it's hard to find a job unlike united states right obviously it's very significant so back to the preparation process if you wouldn't mind you yourself what did you do to prepare for this test did you enroll in any uh special study programs what were was there anyone helping you or guiding you or uh, you and in general, what does the preparation process look like individually for a student, you know, just every day in their lives? Uh, yeah, so what I did was I tried to study regularly from from my freshman year until uh, until I graduated from high school. And most most students and including myself, they uh, if they can afford it, they get private lessons from a med tutor or uh, or a science tutor or any other class and they usually go to um schools out uh like preparation centers outside of school like after the after the school ends they 
in the evenings they usually go to um those kind of places to uh get additional help for uh subjects that they don't understand and study together with their friends other people because for some people it's easier to prepare for a test with other people and for some they prefer to study alone uh so what they do at school is certainly not enough so they uh they try to get help from other people other resources and how many hours do you think on average a uh, student needs to study for this test to be successful in turkey like you were yeah i mean if you study regularly starting from your freshman year a couple of hours a day should be enough but if you uh, if you kind of leave it all to your senior year it's even if you study it whole day it's not going to do much but for uh the average is about like i think 6 7 hours a day in in a senior year for for a high school student in turkey and is this on top of all of the homework and projects that students undoubtedly get assigned in school? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, if you're talking about the senior year, the, uh, you usually don't have many assignments or projects or any other stuff, any other schoolwork, but uh, usually, yeah, it's on top of that. So the school system itself is also, I mean, obviously, but the curriculum in high school is also kind of based around this test. In senior yeah. year, you guys kind of get it taken easy on you in terms of curriculum because mm -hmm. of the upcoming test. Yep. Amazing. And um, after you take the test, in America, as you know, you must apply to every college that you want to have a chance to get into. Mm -hmm. um, most colleges at least. So in Turkey, how does it work? Do you mail your scores to colleges? Do you write any sort of application letter or is the process just automatic? No, none. So um in uh in United States you can apply to college, like you can take the SAT and apply to college in uh around like at the end of your junior year and the start of your senior year i think and but in turkey you you're gonna take that placement test uh like about a month later after your high school graduation and about the few weeks after you take the test you're gonna get your grade back you're gonna get your score back and using that score you're gonna um write up a list of schools that you want to apply to and all this process, the whole process is uh, electronic, so you did online. So you just uh, come up with a list of schools that you want to apply to, and then your uh, score is automatically sent to those schools, and uh, they accept you or reject you based on how many other people apply to that school and their score. So there's no application letter and nothing similar you just uh send your score to that school and if you are in say like um the the top 100 applicants well if your score is amongst the uh top 100 applicants you go into the school and if not you don't so that's how it goes it the whole thing takes uh place in about a couple of months after you take the test i understand so um there is a very small amount of uh student initiative involved you still mm -hmm. decide what colleges you want to apply to but it's based completely on the score and on the competition exactly yeah and uh could you talk to me a little bit about the test specifically uh, if you remember, how many questions were on it? What sort of questions? Uh, were they very difficult? Were they uh, just the level of difficulty that they entailed? Yeah. Um. You you have to take two tests, and I think we can compare them to 
SAT and the SAT subject test. Uh, and for for the first test, you have uh, four areas like one is social studies, uh, math, your uh, Turkish, like uh, it's similar to SAT reading and also Turkish grammar. And then uh, you have science. And for this test, the first test, everyone has to take it. And no matter what, uh, what your area of study is. And for the other tests, it's like more like major specific. If you want to uh, go to engineering school, you're going to have to take the math test and the science test. And uh, if you want to study history, you, you would have to take the social studies test and the uh, Turkish, Turkish literature test. So um, I think for for each of these tests, the number of questions is around around a hundred, and the questions I would say are uh, most of them are difficult because uh, they want the test to be competitive, so you know they can uh so the applicants get different scores so they can so that it's it's competitive and uh they can. They can select the students based uh, on their score because uh, if it was easy, lots of people would get similar scores and uh, wouldn't work that way. So I would say it's difficult. Of course. Um, so this test is almost um, tailor-made for each student depending on the major that they want to pursue. Um, so... These two tests that you mentioned, do you take them at the same time, same day? Uh, you take them with um, you take them in a weekend. One is on Saturday, the other on Sunday. So you take them with a with a day break. I see. Thank you. And uh, heading into the final stretch here, um, you did very well on the exam in Turkey but then you decided to come to the United States of America. Um, so do you think that all the preparation that you did for this test in uh, Turkey, uh, was it, do you see it as really necessary now that you're in the U.S.? Or how do you think that impacted your educational career in this country? Well, I think uh, I, did, I didn't do much with my score, but... And... I think the amount of effort I put into it, I don't think it's um it was really worth my time. I don't think uh I was kind of like rewarded for all the uh, hard work, but I still think that uh like the math science uh courses I took the the curriculum was uh it really helped me succeed in my first years in college so i don't think it was uh i don't think it was really worth it but i still am uh not unsatisfied about it i see and uh one last question uh you've seen both educational systems both in the united states and in turkey and even though you uh spent a fair amount of your life preparing for the Turkish exam and not for an entrance into a, an American college, uh, I'd just like to ask you, what do you think is the better system? Uh, which one would you have preferred if you could have gone back in time, the American way of focusing on extracurriculars and a bunch of other factors besides tests or uh, and the GPA, even though those are significant, or the Turkish method we've been, which we've been talking about? Uh yeah so i don't think the turkish method is uh i don't think it's a good way at all uh there are many ways to criticize it and by comparison i think the american way is a lot better because uh students can spend time on their like personal growth uh, they can work on developing other skills like they can uh engage in extracurricular activities that that will be uh, 
uh, helpful later in their life. And but in Turkish education, I mean, you probably learn the uh, math and science concepts, the subjects. You probably learn them better, but I think it's not all that necessary. It's not that uh, it's not good amount. Like you learn a lot, but it's not necessary. And I think most of it you can do without. So I think uh, the American way prepares students to be uh, more well-rounded individuals. They can uh, spend more time on themselves. They're uh, spending more time with their family, friends. They can uh, socialize a lot better. So uh, I think the American way is a lot better compared to the Turkish system. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Teber, for taking your time to uh, join me and talk with me about the college entrance exams in Turkey. Uh, I truly enjoyed this conversation. I hope others will also. Uh, so once again, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem at all. Thank you.